What's up, losers? Let's burn some dread. Well, I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, right. We gotta go to this guy. We gotta... So we gotta give the lamp to the fishmen for their ritual, for their fish ritual. So that we can prove that we're the chosen one, so that we can get information on where Emmett Selk's lair is. Which is gonna be the dungeon, final dungeon of this, of the main story of the expansion at least. I know there's patch quests, and there's gonna be another expansion. This game's got, this game's got a lot of longevity. God, my throat. Hope you guys don't mind me eating a cough drop while I record. Alright. Sacred lamp. Yeah, he made it in the last five minutes. The ancients are the Asians. Also, I think I burned my tongue. Eating, eating something hot. Hate it when that happens, but it goes away after a, after like a good night's sleep. I wonder what it would feel like if I was just awake while it just gradually stops being burned. All right. Hmm. Yeah, those were the ones from your friends. Yeah. I got all the crystals from your allies. Hmm. Let's be smug. Ha. Come on, I fought the... I killed the Sin Eaters of your friends. Which one do we tell them about? Oh, I guess we'll assume we told him about all of them. Although he's being vague enough that it could apply to any of them. Hmm. He didn't say like, Wow, you managed to save Nyalbert's friend? Or, wow, you teamed up with the grandson of the guy who... Or the great-grandson of the guy who uh, exiled Lamet? Yeah. Who was Seto? No, like actually, who's Seto? Just give me one sec. Just, just give me one second. Right, Seto was his bird, who became able to talk. Seto was his Amaro. Thank you, Ardbert. So even if he has the choice to be able to pass on to the afterlife, he wants to stay with us. Although, if he were to choose, like, you can never go to the afterlife even after I die, or just go now, I'd strongly encourage him to go now, because then, once I go, no one can see him. And it's uh, Cthulhu, he either dies, which he can't, or goes insane. We sure did. Wait, how did the fleshling, uh, the human, that's what, I, that's what they called them, right? Or softbacks or something, because they don't have scales. Whatever they called them. Uh, how is he breathing here when the when we didn't get rid of the water yet? Because we temporarily got rid of the water with breathing, with the breath of Bismarck, but this world's Bismarck, who's a giant fae, because there's not primals here. There's also not crystals. What ever happened to either of those? Yep. They were built by the Asians. Out of, like... So here's the thing, the reason why the rocks are impenetrable... <laughs> They're not just like your average granite. Just like how we used to be 13. There's like 13 of us across the dimensions. And we used to be one perfect being. Each of those rocks. 
they're, they used to be the culmination of 13 rocks. And therefore, the perfect rocks. Yeah. But now... Yeah? <coughs> I've caught an allergies that may or may not be a sickie. sad honestly yeah especially one considering that they killed a lot of those people oh I bet I just thought about it so I think the reason why like people like people die in the rejoining is anyone so let's say I kill this world's reflection of Alice, and we merge the worlds. Our world's Alice dies, I think. And that's why the light overflow would have killed everyone. Or wait, does it have reflections of the people? Because cause that's a really good question. People who were born after the split. Are souls recycled? Is this a world where there's reincarnation? I'm fine. Fine and dandy. Except for that part. I forgot that that's a thing. I forgot that's what our vision looks like. Good enough. I don't want to eat you yet, so... Yep. Hopefully. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Appreciated muchly. I believe that's how the kobolds speak. I'm gonna look it up. It's eat it just started eating away at me. What are the kobolds called in uh in the first kobolds. I I just don't remember and I need to know. Hmm. Let's see. You've gotta tell me. I must know. First. I was gonna look up first kobolds. It would probably be more it would probably be more accurate to look up Norvrant kobolds. Mords. Right. It's not a name rooted in mythology that I know of. The Sahagan are Ondo, Amuljar Zune, even though I didn't know anything about that. Wallafell are dwarves. And they're precious and they have hats. Hmm. Some apparently some people we know have uh, counterparts here, like the traveling merchant we met at the beginning was Brennan or Brent or Bramont, who depending on which route you started with. So, okay, apparently the wandering minstrel. And this makes me a little mad. Do you know what his name is in this world? I'll give you a second to guess. It's the minstreling wanderer. Uh, Rowena from the House of Splendors is Moen, who runs the same place here. So that's cool, I guess. But let's get back to the game now that we remember what the Mord are. Oh, you found a city. It was just sitting there, and you found it. Mm, that's one way to put it. There's somebody else living there. That's what we'll say to them. There's a demon living in there. Oh, they think we're the sign. Hmm. Yeah? Finless ones, that's what he calls us, not fleshlings. Hmm. Alright. And the, I'm pretty sure that guy's the elder. 
So what he says goes. Not really, I can't remember if he's the elder or the guy Alfino was trading with at the beginning. Fruits for pearls. Because we have a lot of fruit. They have a lot of pearls. Easy trade. Easy trade. Everybody gets what they want. The real important question is, could I beat Misha in a fight? The answer to that important question is yes. It's a yes. Uh, I've never said so much of a yes. Oh, maybe we'll be doing the dungeon on this episode? Like, I wouldn't have expected it, but let me check how close we are. As I plug in my my headset, which is low on battery. I have not memorized where the charger port is on this new headset. Okay, so no, there's three more quests, uh, and there's one new area we unlock. It's called the Macarenses Angle. Which is just another area within Norvrin or within Tempest, apparently. And we get an Aether Current. I presume Macarenzis is going to be the stuff below that we couldn't get with the Aether Currents we can't reach. But that's just my Daniel guess of the day as we just jump. And we might die of fall damage because we were in combat. No, we did not. Because you can die of fall damage when you're in combat, I think. All are gathered. Just go west. Oh. That's cool. I guess that's how we unlock a new area. Don't make us watch that cutscene again. I was in the cutscene. I was like 20 seconds in. Why are you allowed to attack me? Why did it take damage during my step? Can Does my auto attack still activate during that? Auto attack. It sounds weird. It's like, oh, well, that's lame. Game plays itself. No, it's more like just uh, damage over time that melees or that physical DPS gets. I don't know. I'm... I know spellcasters can use it, I just, you'd have to be up close, and I don't know if uh, it cancels when you cast spells. I just spilled water all over my arm. I thought that bottle was empty, but I was going to drink for a minute if it wasn't. It's like an empty bottle, which I cannot drink out of, can still spill on me. Oh, there's the current. It's a strange and magical game mechanic that I hope they remove in the next patch. Honestly, I think 2020 has been one of the worst balance patches. Because I think they really nerfed uh, most of humanity's intelligence. Or at least, they made the, the fact that it's pretty unbalanced and underwhelming very apparent. I speak, of course, of the uh the class available to some players but most people don't use it because it sucks uh the karen class it just has a cripplingly low intelligence stat and i think that might be its biggest disadvantage honestly i think it it kind of just bottlenecks the class's power it really it really has no uh, no standing in the competitive metagame. Uh, now, I've said this before. Quantum physics is one of those things where if this were a video game, you would not be allowed to use it in competitive play due to it being an, un an unintended exploit. People would all get really mad at you if you tried to pull it out in bracket. It's like the thing where, with like the geckos, where it's like, oh, because of some obscure law of physics, uh, you're finding leak. I can't believe 
you'd think like, oh, you can't find legal loopholes in the laws of physics because the universe just, it just won't work. No, there are those loopholes in the laws of physics, and I hate them. They're wonderful and hilarious, but I hate them. It's like how if you have a bunch of tiny hairs uh, cling to a surface, it's sticky. And it's just like, I'm upset that that works, but I'm so glad. Alright. Oh no, he's scared. Precious baby. I just want the aether current. I think there was one for here. Yeah, that's what I'm that was the one I saw. It's not that scary. You've been on scarier. Also, shout outs to the uh that one illusion tightrope from the let me check what dungeon it was called. It was the underwater one. Don Meg. Where uh Let's be honest. Our trust NPCs were like uh, Thancred, like Alice just says, "This wouldn't fool a child," and just like runs through it. But we're not allowed to. If we try it, we fall off. We just fall through the illusion, and it's like, "Oh, well, you didn't actually fall to your death, but you're you got so scared." It's like placebo of the illusion. Kind of, kind of jank gimmick, tbh. Could beat it in a fight. <laughs> oh, once I bet the dungeon will be rescue Exarch. But imagine if you rescue Exarch in the dungeon, and then you get to trust system, the last trial, where it's like, oh, because you have all the scions and uh, and Exarch, that makes eight of you. And Exarch, so you have Alfino and uh, Yurianche as healers. Uh, you have Reen. Ishtola, Alice as DPS, Exarch as either tank, or wait, so then Thancred as tank, and then either player, actually that wouldn't work if you need a healer, or if player, if you're playing a healer, let me think, because then only two people can be tanks. And then, uh, you only have Reen, Ishtola, Alice, unless Lena was here. Actually, let me check all the trust NPCs. Because I can just do that. I can just look it up. Thanks, game. Thanks, wiki. Okay. So, Reen, Alice, Ishtola as DPS. Yeah. And then you'd need Exarch, and then there's only one tank, two healers. So it would only work if you were tank DPS. Unfortunate. Or wait, no, Thancred is the one who says this wouldn't fool a child. Alice just says, come on, we know this is an illusion. And then Ishtola just goes, yeah, ha, ha, as, as if there wasn't an illusion because she's blind. And she, and she sees, like, the true existence of things. She basically has D&D true sight, because if she sees either. Alright, her solo went blind the first time she went in the live stream. Oh, wait, what did that say? Oh, yeah. Did you raise a hand to it? <coughs> yeah. Alright. And then you just gotta right click it, and it'll be like Aether Current, or it'll just play the and Aetheride, or it'll, I'll just play the animation here. That's what I thought. Called it. Play the same animation. What's programming new animations for something? It's not an insult to the game. It's not a jab. This is a great game. Uh, my best games of all time. Fire Emblem Three Houses and Fire Emblem Fates are like my top two. Oh, don't know if I like Awakening or Persona Five Royal more. They're both incredible games with main characters that I could not beat in a fight. Oh right, if you're questioning the tier list that I made on Twitter, 
specifically why Kubo, who's, who's just like the most average, pretty unathletic teen, I put him on the same tier as athletic adults. That's actually because he has killed somebody, like a fully grown adult. I think he had a, like a baseball bat. All we know about it is it was blunt force trauma to the head. So for all we know, he just punched that. He punched Moraoka until he died. He just beat him to death. Whether it was with a stick or a rock doesn't matter. He was still able to do it. He might not be trained, but he's still a stone cold killer. Like yeah, he might not have killed all the people. That's actually a almost like a pro for him because he didn't need to use the TV and rely on shadows to kill his enemies. Like, Adachi, if Adachi doesn't have a gun, or, uh, or his persona, he loses to Dojima. And if it's just a gunfight, I think Dojima could still win. Oh no, it's a dungeon? <gasps> it's a city! It's New York City! Oh god! This is actually like a really nice looking area. I'll just be real. Looks great, looks wonderful. Yeah, like a modern, a very modern city. Are, wait, are we the Asians? Are we the players, Asians? Like the people who are split across timelines? Yo! 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 They're made of raw ether. Hmm. Interesting. Question is, Ishtola, could you, theoretically, if you were to face off with it in a fight, just like, beat the city. You do have magic. Could you like, honestly, could, could a uh, high level black mage just blow up the whole city? Hmm. Ah. Not necessarily the whole city, I guess. More just uh. Uh, what was I gonna say? Like, not, a not this whole magical enchanted city, unless the magic just makes it look the same as the OG. I was wondering where the determination one was. Uh, you just automatically get some. Because I know determination is, like, one of the top three materia options. I believe it's, a uh, direct hit rate, critical hit rate, determination. Actually, let me check what Determination does. Don't you dare make an Undertale joke. I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking the same. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Just don't. Wait, damage over time potency is affected by skill speed? For real? Huh. So I guess maybe spell speed is like one of the super important materia options for a summoner. I mean, I don't know if at high levels, bio and miasma are your big skills because you, you have things that just deal flat, big amounts of damage instead of damage over time. Let me check the, so we have a 0.6, a 0 0.06 second decrease from our 934 skill speed. Not that big a number, let's be honest. Little, uh, little less than expected. Imagine if you could just have skill cooldown of zero. Hey, look, they boost the, they boost the cap with each and every patch. What does boost our skill speed? I was gonna say I'll look up max skill speed after video. I just wanna see it. I just wanna know now. Let's see what the max skill speed is. I almost put in SSBU instead of FFIB. 
That was embarrassing. Hmm. Reduces default global cooldown based on the amount of skill speed you have compared to the base value. Okay, cool. What what does that mean? Okay, well, the page is not loading. So I guess that's a story for another time. Speaking of stories, for another time. This, this video, uh, I was gonna say it'll end soon, but I'm not sacrificing the perfect outro. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, this show must go on. Yeah, even though I should probably sleep. Imposing doors. I've never seen a door with such a powerful energy. Right, when you see frame drops, that's actually because I'm on another tab or something, or checking the time, even though I kind of forgot it's up there. Oh my god, time zone reveal. Time zone reveal! Because I just press command so I can see it on my taskbar. Watch this. I'm gonna un- never mind that HUD's gone, I was gonna undo my time zone reveal by changing to in-game time. Yeah? Are Asians giant in their home world? He's expecting us? Or were we an Asian at one point? Oh yeah, he did. Did say when the light was too much to handle. But did he expect us to attack? Probably. I thought it was gonna say, uh, no, you're not Daniel. Daniel, if you want the answer, say it yourself, loser. Don't be such a silent protagonist. Hey, can we summon Titania? Yo! What if Scholar gets to summon Titania next patch? As, like, part of the level cap. If, like, Summoner... Or Summoner, that would be cool. Because Titania does do attack stuff. <laughs> yeah. That will be our dungeon for next video. Ground floor! I'm gonna be impolite. I thought I was gonna say, like, well, that was a little bit rude of you. Cyberpunk 1802. This game. This is not 1802. I mean, there are guns, so it could be, like, approximately musket era. I think revolver is, like, I think pistols are, like, the coolest kind of gun. Like, if I'm playing a fictional character, if I'm playing a gunslinger-type class in the game, it doesn't matter if it, like, deals no damage, long cooldown time. If there's a game where it's, like, the, it's an RPG, the only real class is like Gunslinger, and you can still use magic as a Gunslinger, because I'll always pick the magic class. You know, Pistol is the coolest one. Like, I've played Persona 5. You can do all your cool, fancy tricks. Like, a good old Western six-shooter is the best kind of gun. I don't know much about guns, nor do I care much about guns. Guns are dangerous. I don't like dangerous things. I say that as an archer. I'm a bit of a hypocrite. That's a dumb name for your, uh, for your chocobo. I mean, I guess because it's a bird, horse, and turkey. But, like, that's just a dumb one. Speaking of stories for another day! <laughs> uh, we'll do the dungeon and probably finish Shadowbringers on the next stream. See ya!